Hey FlossTube, I'm Annie and I'm the proper stitcher and thank you for joining me today for FlossTube number six. Today is Thursday, May the 13th and I hope everybody had a great week, a great Mother's Day and that you were able to get some stitching time in and some relaxing time and I had a great weekend. Uh, my neighbor, uh, her name's Nancy and she, we have been neighbors for about 18 years and she is like family. She and her husband Joe and there are adopted parents and adopted grandparents for my children. And she was actually my, grand, my children's um, preschool teacher. So Nancy and I go on antique shopping days about four times a year. And she said, hey, let's go to downtown Clinton, which is about 30, 40 minutes away from us. And they were having their spring fling. So that is one thing I got to do this weekend on Saturday. And that was a lot of fun to spend with Nancy, who's a dear friend and uh, we always have the best time and we found some really good things. I'm going to show you those today too. Um, I have a lot to go over today so I'm probably going to be looking at my notes. Please forgive me. I try not to do that but I, I don't want to forget to share something with you um, and I, I just wanted to make sure that, that I get all that information out there. So I will be cheating and using my notes a little bit. Um, what else did I wanted to say? But thank you all who have commented. Thank you for the prayers for my sister. Um, like I told you last week, she does read the, the comments and she does watch the floss tube videos. So she is aware of all the support. And I've told her that cross stitchers are just a wonderful group of people. And, and she's, she's seen that firsthand and quilters too. So, so thank you all for those comments. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If this is your first time watching, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Welcome back. Um, hopefully we'll have a good time today. Uh, so let's get right to it. Like I said, lots of notes. So if you have pen and paper, grab it. Um, if you have something to drink, grab that. I'm drinking my tea from this mug my daughter Gray gave me for Mother's Day. It says pray. It's a Ray Dunn mug. And this is because she knows that um, we, we pray all the time anyway, but she knows that we've been saying a lot of prayers for my sister Lisa. So thank you, Gray, for my mug. And um, so let's get to it. So grab pen, paper, grab something to drink, tea, coffee, um, wine, whatever you feel like drinking, whatever time of the day it is for you, and, um, or, and grab your stitching. So let's get started. I'm already getting bad and looking at my notes too much. Okay, so in this video I'm going to discuss um, previous finishes and some, um, some of our upcoming stitch alongs, and then of course I have my whips and my haul and giveaways. So the first thing I wanted to go over are the stitch alongs that I have going on. And because I've had a lot of questions about them and I wanna make sure everybody understands who would like to join that any stitch along, and I think this is with any group that you follow or any stitch along that you, you may hear about, it's, it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be super easy. It's meant to be casual, informal. It's just, just to get us all excited about stitching. And, it's nice to stitch stuff, things and designs that other people are stitching at the same time and to kind of have that camaraderie. So the first stitch along is I'm hosting with Stitch Etc. And you can find them on Facebook. And, and anything I go over today, I'm going to make sure and put those uh, links and information in the show notes below. So just try to, to follow that and click on the links. And I'll try to make it as easy as possible. So Stitch Etc. and I, that's Kim Gavlick. She is my dear friend and she is the one who makes the wooden boards and paddles that I give away and you can follow her um, on her Facebook and Instagram under Stitch, ETC, so Stitch Etc. So we're doing Clarissa Beaumont by Little Robin Designs. And this one just spoke to both of us because we love animals. And it was funny, I sent her this link and I said, isn't this the sweetest sampler? And she said, I love it. And I was like, well, let's do a stitch along. And she said, okay. And so then we started doing, we started just expanding on that idea and said, let's invite people to join us. So we were starting Clarissa Beaumont by Little Robin Designs, Clarissa Beaumont. Now this one is a wonderful design because it's not too big. It calls for DNC floss inside the pattern, which is a PDF downloaded downloadable pattern, you get the history of Clarissa Beaumont, which Robin from Little Robin Designs did a wonderful job um, writing a brief history of Clarissa Beaumont. 
And then the pattern is so sweet. Um, this one starts tomorrow, May 14th. You still have time to get your designs, especially since this is a PDF download. You do not have to start tomorrow. If you choose to start in a week, that's fine. You start when you want to start. But just let us know if you're doing this. And we're using the hashtag Clarissa B S A L. So it's Clarissa C L A R I S S A, the letter B S A L. So if you're stitching this and you want us to see your progress, uh, tag us in your um, post. Um, I'm the proper stitcher or stitch, etc., for Kim. And we would love to see your progress. But um, I'm on Instagram and on Facebook, so you can use that hashtag on both. Um, but I would love to see your progress. I think I am going to use 32 count light mocha. And I think this is going to be a nice neutral linen to go with all the DMC floss. It does call for a lot of DMC, but it's okay because that's what makes it such a pretty design. I have not had a chance to get these on floss drops yet. So please excuse my floss toss mess. But when you do a floss toss of these, it's going to be so pretty, all those colors. And I love blue, which we all know, I talk about it all the time. But these two shades of blue, I think, are going to be so pretty in this design. So Robin, over at Little Robin Designs, thank you so much for a beautiful pattern. And I have some exciting news about her, um, this, her and this design. Um, in our giveaway notes, so stay tuned for that. So that is Stitch Along number one, Clarissa Beaumont, and it starts tomorrow. If you have questions, don't hesitate to email me or uh, email Kim um, with Stitch Etc. We want this to be fun and exciting and something that you know just, just brings us joy, so no pressure. The other Stitch Along that I am hosting is with Artie over at the Vintage Stitcher. And I met Artie about two months ago. I emailed her. She, I started watching her floss tube from the beginning. Um, she started in March. And she is just a joy to watch. Go over and follow her on floss tube as well. But she has a Facebook page. And it's, it's a group. It's called the Vintage Stitcher. But she likes to stitch um, vintage designs. And someone had gifted her um, a, a box full of old designs and she was sharing some of those on her face on her floss tube video one day and she shared by god stitches a quaker christmas and when she shared it i emailed her and i said Artie, i have this design i've had it kitted since 2017 my family and i took a trip to williamsburg virginia and i went to a cross stitch store there and they had this stitched and it was behind the counter and i loved it i just I've never stitched anything this big. I've never stitched a Quaker sampler, and I just loved everything about it. I love stitching Christmas designs too. So I said, we should do a stitch along, and all right, we can stitch it together. I didn't mean a big stitch along. I just meant let's stitch it together, and it kind of evolved into let's bring other people in on it. So we have decided to start this design on June the 1st another easy peasy informal stitch when you want stitch as often as you want no rules applied stitch along just have fun that's the only thing that we ask so this one it is an older older design but you can still find it a lot of people have sent me the question that they have a Quaker Christmas 2 can they stitch that of course stitch a Quaker Christmas 2 also by bygone designs use the hashtag Artie and I both are going to follow it, but the hashtag for this one is going to be Quaker Christmas SAL. And SAL is just for stitch along. So Quaker Christmas SAL. So hashtag Quaker Christmas SAL. And we will find you on Instagram or Facebook and or on Facebook. Share your, your images with us on our groups. You can join Artie's page, join my page. Um, both are private groups, but we are great about letting anyone who is a part of our community to, to join. So share your photos and your progress. This one, it is big. Um, what's nice about the back of the, the pattern is it does share with you the different sizes. 
So I'll read those to you. So on 14 count or 28 count, this will end up being 22 inches, 22 and three quarters inches wide by 14 and 5 eighths high. On 16 count or 32 count, it will be 20 inches wide and 12 and three quarters inches high. So the stitch count is 320 wide and 205 high. So if that is within your, your, your wish to, to stitch something of that size, it's a perfect design. If you don't want to stitch something so large, but you want to do some of the motifs from here, then do that. Wouldn't that make great ornaments or little smalls if you wanted to do a bowl of just some of the motifs? It is, again, it's however you want to make this yours, and we encourage everyone to join us. I am still trying to decide the linen that I want to use. Uh, when I bought this and kitted this back in 2017, I purchased 36 count cream Edinburgh linen. And it is cream, it's a, it's a creamy color. Let me pull out, I am using the overdyed floss. That's simply because I bought it at that time, um, back in 2017. So that is what I have. The, you can, do a DMC conversion. I put a, I will put it in the show notes below, a DMC conversion chart. Um, I also shared that on my Facebook page. But I am using the classic color works, Balsam Fur, Cupid, and Yield Gold. And those are the ones that it's called for. And I will share the conversion. I haven't compared the DMC conversion to see how close it is, but I think, I think it's gonna be really close. Um, you can also use other colors. I have seen these Quaker Christmas samplers stitched with a variety of colors from blues to greens to yellows and just mix it up. Again, it's, it's your design to make your own, but this is the cream color that I have. And I'm thinking it might, I may or may not use it. I might want to make this a 32 count. And if I do, I'll probably switch it to a vintage country mocha or um, something more of a flax color. Um, so I'm still thinking about that. And the beautiful thing about this is, is we have until June the 1st to get all of our ducks in a row and figure out our floss and our bags. We got plenty of time to get this organized and get it together. But it's gonna be fun. That's part of the fun too, is prepping and, and getting, getting your materials together. Some people have already started. That's okay too. Um, but the, the hope is, is that we can chunk this out and that's what I talk to my kids about when you have to study for an exam. Chunk it out or, you know, don't don't think you have to do it all at one time. Don't look at the big picture. Look at the little chunks. So we can figure out a way, and I will work on that, to do certain motifs or quadrants of this design. And hopefully we will have it finished by the end of November. Then you can frame it or finish it however you want and have it ready in your home for the holidays. Um, so please join us. This will be so much fun and it, it's not, it shouldn't be overwhelming if you go at your pace and stitch it how you want to stitch it. But it's Bygone Stitches, A Quaker Christmas. So let me know. Hopefully you'll join us. It's, it'll be so much fun. Oh, and I am storing this in my brand new, love this bag. Okay, you know I love Mickey's Nobles bags. And that's one of our giveaways today, so stay tuned for that. Um, but Nikki's Notables, please go and follow her on um, Instagram. I will put her link uh, to Instagram in the notes below and on Etsy. I'll put her link to her Etsy shop below, but she makes the most amazing bags. Well, she was having a sale where you could pick your Lori Holt uh, flea market um, fabric and she made bags. So I bought one. This is the back of it. Isn't that beautiful? This, this is my favorite. This I love Lori Holt and I love Mickey's bags. So this is the perfect combination. So there's the back, here's the front, and she used this sweet, sweet blue and blue, I love it, and then the red and this white, and then she put a little thimble charm for a, a zipper pull. So that is because I, I love all things um, Lori Holt and I love Mickey's bags and I love Christmas. So I'm putting all these together. It's big enough to hold all of my floss and this will be something that I will be working on throughout the year. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, okay, so those are the stitch alongs. And if you have any questions, please email me at thepropertitcher at gmail.com or ask me below, but do not hesitate to ask any questions. Um, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Okay, so let's keep on going through. Let's talk about my whips. So I, I did I did try to do a lot more stitching this week. I have been busy um, with work. I do work from I work from home, so it, some some weeks I'm busier than others. So this past week I had just a handful of things going on that kept me kept me a little preoccupied. But I did I did manage to get some stitching time in on Mother's Day. So let's go over those. Let me take a quick sip of my tea. Excuse me. So I am stitching, as you know, modern folk embroidery. A fruit to plenty and I have just come to the realization that I'm always going to be behind on this stitch along that's okay I'm making it my own but I love it I'm not going to stop I'm going to finish it but I am behind I'm still working on the January motif but I also started this one late I started this one in early March I believe so this is what I did on Sunday I started filling the bowl with some fruit and I really do love this pattern um, this is by modern folk embroidery J Jacob is from the Netherlands and he does the most beautiful designs they are exactly as it sounds they're modern but they're also old folk inspired um, motifs and he does a beautiful job all of his patterns are PDFs so another quick I want to start something new. He has smalls, he has bigs, bigs. he has smalls, and he has larger products, uh, designs. So this one, I just love it. And I'm stitching um, using two shades of DMC blue. I'm using 932, and oh, I didn't take them out for you this week. I'm sorry. I'm using 932 and 3750. So this is the 3750, and this is the 932. And I'm using um, 32 count antique white Belfast linen. I love the white and I love the blue on top of the white. It's, it's just, it makes these blues stand out. Very pretty. So I'm hoping to get more of that stitch this week. Um, okay, so for one of my patriotic pieces, I am stitching from the heart needle art by Wendy and this is Freedom Quaker. And this isn't a big design, and it's really pretty. I'm stitching it on 36 count Dixie Sampler Rolling Stone. And this week I finished the outline of this motif and started the tree in this one here with the, the eagle. So when I started stitching the tree, I was stitching it using the brown color, right? I mean, a tree trunk, brown. And I've been stitching Summer at Cherry Hill, which is also a brown tree. Well, I got finished with the tree and realized it was supposed to be green. So I got delayed on this one and had to rip out the whole tree and stitch it again. So, but I do love it on the green. I'm glad I did that. It also wouldn't have worked with the eagle being brown. So I just was not paying attention and was so excited that I was actually making progress and realized something's not right. <laughs> <laughs> so my other stitch along that I am doing, um, so you've heard me talk about this one. You've heard me talk about the Summer summer at Cherry Hill by Brenda Gervais with Thigh Needle and Thread. And I have had this design since 2014. And I knew one day I would, I would eventually stitch it. And I um, saw someone on Instagram and she lives in um, the, the Netherlands. and. I just realized I've been pronouncing her name wrong, but it's her name's Yoke, J-O-K-E. And I noticed that she was stitching it. And I sent her a message and said, hey, let's stitch this one together. And so we are, um, and which has been fun because we are keeping each other going. And so and what we've noticed is a lot of other people are stitching it too. So they've been using the hashtag Cherry Hill, um, hashtag Cherry Hill S-A-L. And we can all see each other's progress and it's fun, but the, the, this is an example of where stitch alongs are great, especially with a larger piece. 
I sent Yoke a email the other or a message the other day and I said please tell me this tree gets faster goes by faster because I'm thinking about making this a bush because it's a big a big tree a lot of tree here and she said it it does once you get it done it is smooth sailing from there and I was like good because it is a big tree and this is where I am on that so I am starting to fill this part in and I guess if I look at this I am about here on the tree so I'm almost there I'm in the home front home stretch she said it is so much fun to stitch she said then you can play this was so cute she said then you can play garden fairy and you can stitch all the garden stuff you can do the berries on the tree and the bees and it's like that gave me so much inspiration because I was starting to think I am never going to get this tree done. The other thing that's kind of frustrated me a little bit about this is I think the dye lot for apple cider, which is the called for color for the tree, I think it changed since the pattern was designed because see how much, how this one looks just a lot more brown. Mine's more gold. That, I wish I noticed that, but she also said once you start filling everything in and stitching the bees and stitching the berries and the grass, it all kind of looks, it, it looks, uh, it, it all goes together. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm hoping to get some stitching time in on that this week as well and get that tree done. Believe me, I'll have a big celebration when I get to that point. So that is Summer at Cherry Hill. I love it. Okay, I started a new design this week because I don't have enough going on, right? I need more whips. But I started Plum Street Samplers Hen Peck. And another thing about me is I love chickens. I really do love chickens. And my na my neighbor Nancy said, oh, Annie, don't tell me you love chickens too. I'm like, I do, you've been in my house. You know I love chickens. So I started stitching this on, I believe Monday. And chickens holding flags, American flags, again, I'm getting double duty there. I'm getting something different, you know, chickens, but I'm also getting a patriotic piece in there. So I started stitching this on Monday, and I got the, the black um, hen chicken stitched and one of the flags. And this is so sweet. I love it. Okay, so I think this linen that I'm using is platinum and it is a 32 count. So it's gonna be a good size. And I, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it. I don't know if I'm gonna make this into a pillow or if I'm going to stitch this on, or finish this on a board, um, but I'm really excited about it. I just love it. So that is Plum Street Samplers Henpeck. And have y'all seen her new one this week that she released, all of her new ones? <gasps> Paulette's beautiful, but she has the hedgehog so cute oh and I did change some of the colors on this and I will when I get it finished I will list it below I need to get myself some floss drops you have y'all ever seen those floss tubers and people who have these beautiful rings there um, that they keep all of their floss on I need to get myself some of those but get myself a lot of them actually um, anyway so these colors are gonna be really pretty I did have to change some of them because I didn't have the called for floss um, one of the colors I changed is Barn Door. I'm using that red, and I think it looks really pretty. I think the red that it called for was used brick, and I didn't have that in my stash. So, really pretty. And I'm using my Nikki's Note little bag. And one last whip. This was for my Tomato Tuesday. I started it last week. I got a little bit more stitched this week. Um, and this is another Plum Street sampler. This is Summertide Blessing. And we have this sweet girl riding this bird and, I, and she's holding a flag and all of these tomatoes. This is one of my favorite stitches I have, have done in a long time because of this linen. Well, in the design, but this is Stormy Night Belfast. And that modeling on this is so pretty. And it's perfect for this design. So I got 
two more. I got two tomatoes stitched and I've started the flag. And the colors look so pretty. Again, if I had a floss ring or floss drop, this would look great. I think that might be my next haul that I start looking for because I don't have enough of that. Wink, wink. Okay, so they are the colors. And they are so pretty. Um, I'm excited about this one. So on Tuesdays, I do hashtag Tomato Tuesday. And a lot of you are joining in on that, and I think that's so much fun. I'm doing that also with Stitch Etc. We do hashtag Tomato Tuesday. I did not bring my hashtag Friendship Friday with me because I didn't make any new progress on that. And I didn't bring my butterfly cloche to show you because I haven't made any progress on that. So those two will get added to the top of my rotation this week since I didn't give them a lot of attention this past week. So I want to catch up on those things. So that's all of my whips that I have going on. So let's get into my haul. And I do have a lot to share with you on my haul. I don't have any um, finishes for you this week because like I said, I had a lot of work things going on. Um, but uh, I will definitely make sure to have some for next week and I'll show you some previous finishes next week too. So my haul. So I went, like I said, I went to downtown Clinton, Tennessee. Um, they're known for um, having a lot of antique stores in one area. So it's like a whole block and then half of another block. And they have a couple of event, events throughout the year. And um, this one we went to was called Spring Fling. And I think this is the first time they've had a big event, uh, especially since COVID. And it was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful day. Um, it was sunny, but a little chilly a little cold and there are a few food trucks and just not a lot of people but it was a good amount of people out and about and that was fun so Nancy and I are already making plans to go this summer they are having a Christmas in July event in summer um, that's right up my alley and then of course they have a fall time event and then another Christmas open house event but they have a website if you live within driving distance to East Tennessee um, it's, it's a real treat to go down there um, and see these antique stores. So here's what I got. And this is, this is exciting. Okay, so I got, oh, a tomato. And this is an old, grungy looking tomato. It's velvet and it still has old pins in it. And, oh, that one's really bent. Nancy actually found it. She was like, oh, look, I found you a tomato. And it was the only tomato that we saw out of maybe 10 shops that day, which I found, I thought was surprising. Um, that pin's longer than the tomato. So that was exciting to find this old tomato. So that was that. Then I found this little baby Tin. I guess it's like for little 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 biscuits or little uh, cookies and it is so banged up and so thin but so perfect so what I'm gonna do is use it to put an ornament probably a um, Priscilla stitching with the housewives ornament or a small and hang it on my tree in the kitchen but I thought that was just a fun size. I've not seen one this small before. So I was excited to find that. And, and then in that same store, I found these little teeny tiny, uh, I, I guess they're cookie cutters. Uh, but I, I, I've not seen them this small before. And that was a little bunny. Um, I think this is supposed to be a lion. I'm not sure and a dog and maybe a pony I don't know but I thought these would be cute on my tree as well or on um, ornament finishes so I was super excited to find that and then these little baby spoons and one little knife so those will go on little finishing things too and I found this um, a bigger tin. And I have, um, just like my sewing mice, I have Brenda Gervais Plum Pudding, and they're the baking mice. And I believe I mentioned it to you that I want to make a tree topper on my tree in my kitchen. And 
if I don't mount it, just, I was thinking I would just mount it on a sticky board and just place it on top of my tree and let that be it. But I might put it on this. I don't know. I need to play with it. But this was so much fun to find. So I found those. Bear with me. I did get quite a few things there. Um, I found these neat little old spools of thread I'm going to put in my sewing room. I found this girl. Isn't she so precious? I think I paid $3 for her. She's a, a pin cushion. And even with all the old pins still in it. And this just reminds me of the 1970s, 1960s. And I just, her little face. So she's going in my sewing room. And that was pretty much the theme for the day. I was thinking of things that would go in my sewing room. So I found this girl. Isn't she cute? My husband says she's creepy, but I think she's cute. And she has just a little safety pin on her dress. And I and she just looks so old and grungy and but she needed a home and so she's gonna go in my sewing room. Look at her little face. So cute. And then I found um, this giant spool, antique spool of thread, and it'll just go in my sewing room too. That one is still dirty. I need to clean it. Okay, and then I went into a store. It's called Corner Antiques, and they are known for, they get a lot of Americana and a lot of primitive um, items in their store. And some of them are antiques and some of them are, are made to look like antiques. And this is made to look like it's an antique. It was made in 2018. But this is a bear and he is holding a flag that has 76 on it. And he just looks so patriotic to me. And I'm gonna start decorating for uh, summer and 4th of July here in the next few days. And I just thought he was so cute and I just loved how this flag was just waving in the in the wind so he's cute and he's real um, uneven and I just love him I just thought that he was perfect one last thing from the antique store this is a big piece and this is a crow primitive looking crow and this is another thing that my husband says is creepy sometimes I get these things and my family, I think they like having them out and decorated, but they're like, that's really weird, Mom. So, he is holding a sign that says Liberty. And it, he is mounted on an old, um, it looks like a, a, a spindle or a spool of a chair uh, or a stair rail. And then this crow has been placed on top. It's been made and placed on top. And look, he has the star and his eyes are buttons and he's pretty tall I mean he's huge so he's gonna go with my patriotic decorations for the summer and I just love him I'm gonna have to come up with a name for him do y'all do that do you name your things in your house or I think it's fun oh this is not an antique but it made me think of Valentine's Day and I found this in a gift shop there y'all have seen those um, Ray Dunn books stacked up for um, 4th of July. This is not a Ray Dunn, but it made me think of that. But this is for Valentine's Day, I think. It says, you're still the one. And I thought, and it has a little gift tag that says love, and I'm gonna do a finishing piece on top. So that's gonna be fun to stitch that for, stitch something to go on this for Valentine's Day. Um, I think that's all of, oh, and I found these um, vintage um, postcards and they are 4th of July. This one is Washington. This one is actually, I should have taken it out of the, the somebody wrote on this one. This one is dated 1910. So that's gonna be fun to put out with my Americana and patriotic pieces. This is a 4th of July greetings um, card and it does not have a date on it, but it looks old. I mean, this one was, they, it has the postmark stamp of 1910. So those will be fun to just put with some of my, my vignettes that I have out. All right, so who is ready for haul? I am. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have started, and I forgot to take these out. I'm sorry, I tried to do that. I tried to take things out of my um, plastic bags to show you, but these were hi hiding underneath 
um, those items I just showed you, so I forgot to take them out. Okay, so I got um, from B, a B sampler from Lila's Studio. I got this on Etsy, and I'm going to start doing some B stitching. And I'm not going to stitch this as one whole piece. I'm going to just take these motifs and make smalls with them. Like I mentioned with the Quaker Christmas, you don't have to look at the big piece and think, I'm going to stitch that whole piece. Take out what you want. And so that's what I'm going to do with this. So that is Lila's Studio, and I got it on Etsy, but it's the B Sampler. And then I got Heart and Hands Pocket Round B. And that's another small. So that, that's going to go really quick. This one is just 33 stitches wide and 33 stitches high. So that's like an evening stitch right there. I got some more of the um, Stormy Night Belfast Linen because it's my new favorite. And then I forgot I ordered this and then it showed up in the mail a couple of days ago. Um, let me take it out. This is Peppermint Lane. I got it from Fat Porter Shop. And it is called Peppermint Lane by It's So Emma. And this, I, I love how it looks like a quilt. And I love the white frame. And I went ahead and got the thread hat to go with it. But that is going to be so cute and so fun. This will probably go in my sewing room for Christmas. You know I'm going to decorate it for Christmas. So this one is um, 145 stitches wide and 185 stitches high. And what's nice about the It's So Emma and the, the designs that they put out uh, from Fat Porter Shop is they um, usually stitch them on Ada or 16 count or 28 count or 25 count um, Ada or Lugana. So they're, they're, um, they're quick stitches, the easy to see. I don't have to worry about a magnifier, but I love it. Love the white and all the Christmas mo motifs. This is another one. If you don't want to do the whole thing, you can just do these little pieces for ornaments and put make little smalls and put them in a bowl or put them on a tree um, and make it your own. I did have to get some more sticky board. Probably another reason I didn't get a lot of things finished this past week. But I ordered this um, off of Amazon. Came in just within a couple of days. Um, my latest discovery is Monica's Stitching Studio. She has an Etsy shop, and you can follow her on Instagram. But I downloaded two of her designs, and one of them spoke to me because it's blue, and it has a tomato. So, this is called My Stitching Spot, and I love this. I love that border. Look at that. It's so unusual and so detailed. So, this is Monica's Stitching Studio, My Stitching Spot. And I'll link her Etsy shop below. Also from Monica's Studio is a patriotic piece, and this one's called Freedom. And this one is so cute. The bunting, perfect. And his little, Uncle Sam's little outfit, so cute. And these flowers, I love it. Both of these designs, she uses the DMC floss. Instant download, probably have some linen in your stash. Grab some DMC and you've got a quick little project you can do um, every weekend. So a little bit more haul I got um, from Fat Porter Shop. I got the Lori Holtz um, Be In My Bonnet stitch cards. Oh, I am so sorry, everyone. I really meant to pull these out. So I love these stitch cards by Lori Holt because they are truly like little postcards, right? They are so easy to see and so cute. I And she has them for all seasons, all holidays. This one is the Halloween one. And there are four in each pack. This one has, and they're super thick cards, really nice. Okay, so this one, if my fingers will let me do it, this is a witch's hat. And these are small. They are 34 by 34, so 34 stitches wide, 
34 stitches high. This is October 31st. Very cute. Also has a DMC um, list for floss. This is Jack-O-Lantern. And this little kitty cat with a, with a star in his belly. Very cute. The other pack I got from the Lori B, excuse me, Lori Holt. Um, it's so Emma, and it's her being her bonnet card. Um, this one is more of springtime. So I think this is called Bright Lining. Is that what this one's called? It's set D. And this one is just a little flower. And these are super quick. And remember, I, I bought this one because I wanted the bees. The beehive. Busy beehive is what that one's called. And this one is honey bee. And then this little watering can. So cute. But these are really great, quick. If you're wanting to stitch a gift for someone, these, these go really fast. And you can just put it in a little frame or make a little pillow. Um, and you've got a, a sweet little gift for someone. I also splurged and got the Lori Holt um, library cards. What I'm finding is I love my um, cross-stitch journal and my book of days, but sometimes I just want a quick reference. And so I got her um, library cards. And you can write on here what you're using um, on that particular design. And they have these little, little, um, envelopes to put them in. So super cute, super quick, something that you can help keep your, keep you organized. And for me, help me remember, especially when I do color conversions, I have a little bit more space on those cards to write down what I want to share with you. I also got um, from Fat Quarter Shop, the um, Blackbird Designs, Our Lasting Friendship. And this, this I had in mind for my hashtag Friendship Friday. So this is a beautiful book. Lots of, lots of great designs. There are three designs in this one. And, okay, more from, oh, two needle minders. I got this for my Cherry Hill um, stitch along. I, I collect needle minders. And so each of my projects has a, has a, its own needle minder. And the, this was perfect for my summer at Cherry Hill. And this I got from Cherry Chicks, cherrychick.biz. And I'll put her link too. I ordered it on Etsy. I got this in maybe two days. I, I was surprised it came that fast, but this is super sweet. All right, and now I'm down to my fabric that I got this week. Um, let me show you what I got. Hold on one second. So I've been watching a lot of um, Lori Holt. Um, I mean, if, if I could be someone when I grow up, it would be Lori Holt. She is amazing. But I have been watching her Sew Your Stash series, um, which is genius. So she has just the, the best method for wasting none of your fabric and keeping, keeping it organized and having it ready to go so that you can make scrappy quilts. And that's really what I want to do. I want to start organizing my leftover fabric. And so I started watching her Sew Your Stash series. And in doing so, I started looking at her. Um, she has a video where she shows you how she organizes her cross stitch things and how she organizes her sewing room. Oh, and don't let me forget, I've got to share with you my sewing room progress. I can't believe I almost forgot. But that's why I've been watching a lot of Lori Holt. So, um, because I, one, because she's, I watch her all the time anyway, but I've gone back to over a year, uh, her year of her floss tubes, and I've watched some of her sew so your stash and how to organize your items. Very helpful. I highly recommend you to do it. I'll, I'll link her floss tube below. But um, I have some of her books, but this week, yesterday, I went to my local quilt store, and it's called Gina's Burnt. Bernina, or yeah, Bernina um, fabric, Gina's. I just call it Gina's. But I got the late, the old um, Farm Girl vintage book. And if you have never had any of Lori Holt's books and you are a quilter, she designs her blocks so that you can use all of her books and 
reuse them and um, mix and match the blocks because they're either six inch squares or they're 12 inch squares. So this is a book I did not have of hers and it's called Farm Girl Vintage. I have her Christmas one, but I didn't have this one. But the reason I wanted it is because she does have some chicken blocks and she has um, just some great squares in this and then some chips and a strawberry and the cherries. So I'm, I can't wait to look through this book. I haven't had a chance to really look through it. And when I, if I pull it back out again to show y'all, I will highlight some pages and show you some, some um, squares. But this I got yesterday at my local um, fabric store. And then I got, um, and I don't know who this is, but, oh, actually I do. This is a Wilmington Prince. And I'm gonna use this for some of my cross stitch finishing. And I'm thinking on this one, um, the Monica's um, Studio. I think he will be cute on this. Um, and then I got this ticking. It's a, it's like a vintage, it's a prim khaki with red and blue. And that would also, I was just thinking patriotic finishing. So those two will go there. And then I um, got an, my latest uh, fabric order from Fat Quarter Shop. And I want to share that with you. I love Bonnie and Camille. Um, Thimble Blossoms, and I got their latest Sunday stroll. I got the, the jelly rolls. Oh no, I did not. I, oh, I did. I did that thing again where I thought I bought the wrong thing or I thought I did something wrong, but I got three of the jelly rolls, and I'm gonna do a strip uh, quilt as you go blocks with this. Um, and I will link below the Fat Quarter Shop video that I use for the um, quilt as you go blocks. Those are super easy. I, I taught myself just by watching those videos. Priscilla um, with Stitching Up with the Housewives is the one who told us about it and easy, easy, easy quilts. Um, so much fun. And it if you don't w want to follow a pattern for a quilt, you know, if you're a beginner or you just want something quick, that's what's wonderful about those Stitches You Go designs. And so I'm gonna make one of those quilts with that jelly roll. This will be my binding. And this will be my backing. I love the dogwoods on this. I love the mint green or that backing. I think I'm also going to make a um, ironing board with this fabric because I think it'll look really pretty in my sewing room. So since I said sewing room, and before I forget again, my update on my sewing room. So I showed y'all photos on Instagram and on Facebook, the um, delivery of my bookshelves that came. The man that's going to put them together for me, he's coming tomorrow. So this weekend, I will spend the weekend organizing those bookshelves. And when I was at my fabric store yesterday, I asked them for um, the cardboard bolts that fabric comes on. And they just throw them away or recycle them. And I said, do you mind if I have some? And they gave me about a dozen of them. Um, that's all they had. And uh, what I'm going to do is use those bolts to wrap my yardage of fabric on so I can display them. So if you are a quilter, or I did not know this, people probably already know, or if you have a lot of fabric, any of those fabric stores will gladly give you those bolts when they, when they if there's nothing on it. You know, they usually have them in their um, back room. And just ask them for it. They would gladly give it to you and let them be reused for your home and your sewing um, room or your yardage of fabric. So that way I can store my fabric standing up and have them organized. And I see it in my mind. I hope it turns out that way. But tomorrow my bookshelves will be built. My shutters were ordered this week, but those will take about eight weeks to come in. So in the meantime, I'll get the room organized and set up. The desk that I have or the, the craft table that I have coming, um, there's been a shipping delay. So that will come probably next week. And um, so it's coming right along. Um, it's, it's funny, when the guy was delivering the, the boxes, I ordered the bookshelves from Ikea. And I, there was two of them unloading the truck and I said, and you could tell I was excited. Uh, he said, well, you're my third order for today. And this was like at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I said, wow, and all you're delivering is Ikea products. And he said, yes. And I said, 
well, what did a lot of people order from Ikea? And he, all he said was heavy things. So he, I think that they had delivered 42 items, 42 boxes to the previous house that they came from. So, so my one bookshelf had seven boxes. So I can only imagine how many pieces of furniture that person ordered. But I, I just laughed when I said, what do they order? And he said, heavy things. So they must be heavy because they, they were having a hard time moving those things upstairs. So my sister, Lisa, she has decided that she wants to learn to quilt. And so they bought, they bought her a sewing machine this week. She's used to working and with her being homesick, she um, has some, when she's feeling okay, she wants to have something to do. She's not the type of person that just wants to sit around. So she is gonna start quilting. And so that made me happy um, that she wants to learn to do something new and she's stepping outside of her comfort zone. And so we've been talking a lot. I've showed her some sites to go to, um, but they bought a machine this week and she and I, both coincidentally love the same patriotic um, charm packs and that and I suggested that she start with a charm pack quilt just because I think it'll be easy for her she's never sewn before either so I shared with her the videos I used when I learned how to quilt and I will link that below as well if you're not familiar with her uh, Melanie Ham has a floss tube or a YouTube channel where she does quilting and crocheting and um, I think some knitting. But I learned to do the, to make the, the charm pack quilts by watching her videos. Priscilla from Stitching with the Housewives also shared her charm pack quilts that she made a couple years ago. And so I started researching on YouTube and found Melanie Ham. So I will link her videos before. It's a five part um, series and she takes it step by step. And each video is about 10 to 12 minutes super easy if you want to learn how to do it it's just jump right in but lisa and i are doing liberty land of liberty this is a riley blake love riley blake fabrics um but land of liberty and this is from my mind's eye so here are some of the 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 charms from this pack and i love those pinwheels aren't they adorable Look at that. Oh, and that one with the white. So we are, uh, I'm probably not gonna start any new quilts, of course, until my, sew my sewing machine is in its new home. Um, I can't get to a lot of my finishing products right now because everything is out of um, furniture, hutches and cabinets so I can move it upstairs. So once I get my sewing machine set up, I will start this one first so I can have it with my patriotic things. So I bought, four charm packs from Fat Quarter Shop. This will be my binding, the stars, and this will be my backing. And I just thought this was so pretty and I'm so excited that Lisa is going to try and, and do this as well. So be a lot of fun. Okay, so that is all my haul. Um, thank you for, for listening to all of it. Hopefully you saw some things that you like. Um, Okay, so some floss tubers that I have been watching uh, or I've heard about. Um, a subscriber of mine, she sent me an email and said that she started um, a floss tube channel. She said that she just watched my first one and, and uh, just decided she wanted to try one too. Her name is Sherry and her floss tube channel is called North of the Border and she lives in Canada. So I think she's had two floss tube episodes out. So if you want to go check her out, her name's Sherry, but her channel is called North, North of the Border. Um, another subscriber of mine, uh, her name is Debbie and she's Dutch. So um, she sent me a message that she has been watching me and I started watching her channel as well. But her channel is called Creatively Yours. And she's been a floss tuber for a long time and she has some really neat designs that she likes to stitch. A lot of things that we stitch too, you know, over here. She likes the blackbird designs and um, some prairie schoolers and um, Brenda Gervais. And it's fun to watch someone from another country stitch stitch some of the things that we, we enjoy stitching here too from the designers from the US. So her name is Debbie and her channel is called Creatively Yours. Um, another stitcher or floss tuber I've been watching 
her name is Jennifer and she is stitching in the bluegrass and she's been she's had a Fosu channel for a while as well but I've enjoyed watching those three this past week um, in between my Lori, Lori Holtz um, channel so if you are trying to find something new to watch or if you have not heard of those floss tubers uh, there you go you have some some new channels to watch Okay, so now we're into giveaways. Are y'all ready for that? Okay, so my giveaways from last week, and I have made a mess on my table, so let me let me get my giveaways from last week. All right, now I realize I'm bad about asking you all questions, and sometimes I don't answer the question myself. So my question last week was, um, do you have any summer plans? And a lot of you do. A lot of you are, your states are opening up and you're able to travel. I mean, you have plans to see family or friends or take vacations again. And so that's exciting. And a lot of you are, are going to sit tight and wait a little longer. And I understand that too. So um, I think we're all just ready for things to get back to normal. And so thank you all for answering that question. So I do have five winners. So the first winner number one was for the lori holt bag oh not lori holt nikki nikki's notables bag and nikki who i have emailed and chatted with several times and she is so nice um i i do love her bags she was generous enough to give us a bag to give away for our 2000 subscribers so Hot off the, the machine and out of the bag. This is your bag from Nikki's Notables. Please go and check out her shop. She will post on Instagram when she's having a sale. But the winner of bag number one is Julie Kelsey. So Kelsey is spelled K-E-L-S-A-Y. So Julie, please email me. All of the winners, please email me at the proper stitcher at Gmail. And I will put that in the show notes below too. And I'll get these out to you. So Julie, congratulations, you won the bag from Nikki's Notables. Number two was the Hedgehog Needle Minder. And Beth Mons Broughton. I am so sorry, Beth, but your last name is spelled M-O-N-S-E-B-R-O-T-E-N. Congratulations, you won the Hedgehog Needle Minder. Manor at Quaker Hill, number three, goes to Glee Hansen. That's Glee Hansen, H-A-N-S-O-N. Congratulations, Glee. And then Stacy Nash uh, and Sampler Pinky. That goes to Jessica Brodsky. Jessica's last name is spelled B-R-O-D-S-K-Y. Congratulations, Jessica. And the last but not least, is the number five Blackbird Design, and this goes to Blue Ridge Stitcher. So if everyone would please email me, I'll get those out to you um, just as soon as possible. So our my giveaway for this week is actually right here. Okay, so, oh, I'm glad I saw that. I made myself a note. Ah, glad I did. Hold on, let me grab one other giveaway for this week. Um, it's at the bottom of my stack. Here it is. I am so forgetful today. I'm glad, I'm so glad I made notes. Okay, so um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six giveaways. So like I said last week, a very generous um, subscriber and viewer sent me a box of um, patterns. So I've got some patterns from from her to give away, and a paddle from Stitch, etc. But the very first giveaway today is going to be from um, Lil Robin Designs. Robin, our Stitch Along, Clarissa B. So I emailed Robin and asked her if she would be willing to give us a PDF of one of her patterns from her shop for a giveaway. So. She said yes, and that's so nice. So Robin from Little Robin's Design, her shop, I'll link below. This will be number one. You do not have to pick Clarissa Beaumont, but if you want to, you can. So number one is gonna be, you can go to Little Robin Design's um, 
website and select a, a pattern and, sh and Robin will email you the pattern. Um, the winner, she will email you the pattern that you select in PDF form. Um, so number one will be the Little Robin Designs um, pattern. Um, so if you want that, number one. Number two is going to be Lizzie Kate Kit. This is a Lizzie Kate Kit, a little gray hair. And this is a kit that has the, the, of course the pattern, it has green um, linen, it has the floss, it has rickrack, it has everything you need to make this sweet little design. So that's number two. Number three is a Chessie and Me design. And this one is called Home Safe to Me. And this, in honor of our patriotic stitching, this has three little pieces in it. It has this with a little flag, has a mermaid, and then a whale holding a flag. So this is number three. Number four is the Scarlet House, Find Comfort. And this one says, Find Comfort and Peace at Home. Another Scarlet House, so let's see, that's one, two, three, four, this is number five, the Scarlet House. This is a pin keep and scissor fob. This is called Button Posies. Now, Kim at Stitch Etc., she stitched this and finished it on one of her boards, so you can go and check out her site and see how she finished it. And then number six is this paddle, or this board from Lila May. I think this is a four by four, maybe three and three quarters. I haven't measured it, but this is white and this will be great for a little patriotic stitch that you want to finish on. So now your question, what question? So the question I want you to answer this week is, um, what kind of stitcher are you? Do you like to stitch in a hoop, in a Q-snap, in hand? Um, what, what type of stitching do you do? I stitch in a hoop. Um, I have always wanted to learn how to stitch in hand, but I can't get my tension right. I, and people who stitch in hand tell me it just takes practice, but I'm just used to stitching in a hoop. That's what I know, and that's what I've always done. So I stitch in a hoop. So tell me, answer below. Let me know how, how what kind of stitcher are you. Like my channel, subscribe to my channel. Excuse me, like the video and comment below. And come and follow me on Facebook at The Proper Stitcher or on Instagram, The Proper Stitcher. So until I see you next week, happy stitching, have a great weekend, and just remember that it, you know, a finished product is better than a perfect product. So, or a finished project is better than a perfect project. So just enjoy everything and have fun. Thanks, have a good weekend.